A uh, very good morning. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show and the Breakfast Rush. We've got the Lotus TV. We are loving having you guys back again. It's been far too long. Now, you know I love you, ladies. Yes. But I'm only we interested know. in talking to Al oh. this morning. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, no, we, we're going to delve into some of the weekend sporting action, and I'm sure you must laugh at how excited he gets at the start of a weekend. Dude, are you, are you this as pumped as I am about Absolutely. the weekend? Absolutely. I look forward. You know, Mondays are my favorite days of the week, but I look forward to the Friday because that's when all the sporting action comes to our box. Majority of it, Friday to Sunday. You don't see me. You don't hear me. Uh, I'm switching off from social media. I'm just stuck onto the television. It's, it's your job. It's my job. Because it's your job, dude. Gotta okay, eat. you've got to yes. sit on that couch and you've got to watch Absolutely. that sports, dude. So um, last weekend, great weekend of sporting action, high stakes this weekend. But before we get into our Super Rugby, the crickets, I think probably our biggest issue is the rain. Looking at the way Philander is bowling at the moment, the fire that Cajizo has got. I think if we have any more rain affected um, issues there, that's probably going to stand in our way. But if you just let them bowl, I think the wickets are going to fall. I think as uh, cricket fans, we were disappointed to see that rain had the final say yesterday. <laughs> Only about 59 overs of uh, cricket, which we got to see. But we've got to give credit to the Proteus bowlers that did a phenomenal job, all of them. But in particular, uh, credit to Vernon Philander. Yeah. Five maidens, those two wickets, he just bowled phenomenal yesterday. And he seems to find that what they call the, that corridor of uncertainty, and he just keeps putting it in there, keeps putting it in there. I think um, for me, Alistair Cook, the, the brilliance of his performance was more the balls that he was brave enough to leave, you know, not yeah, so yeah. much the shots he was making. Man. I think a very defined 81 from Alistair Cook. Uh, he needed to obviously come to the party with first innings runs. The last time he put on a big score was against Pakistan about a year ago. So uh, I think if we have to look at uh, the, the, the balance at the moment, South Africa have a slight advantage at the oh, end really? of day one. And I think getting into second day's play this morning, morning they've got to manipulate that uh, conditions I think uh, the scene bowlers will be uh, waiting to head back out to the park Ooh, early in the morning I'd love to hear Fuff's pump up session in that in that dressing room um, and I'm sure Hash is ready to get out there to bat to repeat his 311 I love it so high stakes rugby the Lions at home against the Hurricanes it's going to be tough our defending champions against probably the best performing team in the competition from a South African perspective lost only one of their games this season to the Hurricanes unfortunately yeah, yeah. What do you think Joburg is experiencing right now, man? What are you? What is I, your I think vibe? the people of Johannesburg are so excited because uh, you've got a semi-final at home. You've got the best-performing South African team from the South African Conference, the Lions. And further to that, they have something that's special in this match, the home ground advantage. Let's forget about the matches in the past and uh, uh, the losses to the Hurricanes. I think if the South Africans and the people and the fans at Ellis Park uh, uh, can obviously get behind uh, the Lions, I think they'll be marching into that final. And uh, my view would be, and my, my final... Put it out there, man. Put it out uh, Crusaders, there, Crusaders, Lions finals, I would love to see that. Oh, I'd absolutely love it to see. We know the uh, Crusaders playing with a lot of heart at the moment. They're going to be playing on home soil as well, going for a record eighth win. When we look at, at some of the star players that might be standing out, we know Dane Coles is coming back for the Canes, probably the best hooker in the business. Absolutely. Elton Yankees is going to need to improve with the boot. We've got both of the Barrett brothers playing brilliant rugby. Um, it, it's going to be individual performances. It's going to be a team performance. It's, uh, they're going to need a complete coming together of everything that's worked for them this season. I think uh, if you read the online articles over the last two to three days, they've uh, entered this match as underdogs. And Coach Jan Ackerman says he He's preferred that, that yeah. the title and tag as, as, as going to the match as underdogs. And that's what they are. I mean, look, uh, the bottom line is they've got to come to the party on the match day. It's all about big match temperament. And let's leave the stats, let, let's leave the records aside. I think they've got to go in with a clear mind and they've just got to gel. They've got to focus. And I think all the hard work has been done. It's just about the psyche and pitching up on the day. And that's the bottom line. So we oh, want to wish the Lions everything the best. Man. And I hope that they can do South Africa proud. Because whether and you're that's from... That's coming from a Durban boy, yeah, man. <laughs> whether you're from Cape Town, whether you're from KZ. And look, I'm still uh, upset from the, the, the loss last week from the shots. But oh, the Lions deserve to win. I must tell you. Oh, so dude, good luck thank to you them. so much. So nice to connect with another sportsman thank on the show. Thank you, Grubby. Thanks for giving we, us we, that yeah, breathing room. Thank you so much. the ambiance. <laughs> so how's your family doing, guys? They tried to look interested. Well, that's what's coming up this weekend in your sporting action. Some massive highlights. But uh, Lions for life. Go out and do it, boys.